Hey, Myra. Hi, Josh. Hey, I was just thinking, you know, there's so many people who do amazing things in Kitsap County. Maybe we should do an entire Beat Blast episode focusing on them. What do you think of that idea? I think that's a great idea. All right, this week we're going to focus on five people who made a big difference in Kitsap County this past year. Stay tuned. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Bee Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theater. Story number one today, Kimmy Siebens is a tireless advocate in our community for the homeless. The nurse who works in Seattle devotes so much of her time to helping those who do not have roofs over their heads. We're standing at a, a local trailer park in Bremerton, uh, the home of two ladies, Rita and Sharon, that I helped. Uh, they used to be homeless and now they uh, live here in this RV that me and the community fixed up for them. Before this, they um, lived in a white van. So I started trying to troubleshoot what we could do as a community to help while we're waiting for you know, more support from somewhere that may never come so we have to try to do it ourselves sometimes if you can give someone like I can get this guy a pair of shoes if we all give five dollars he'll have a pair of shoes by tonight so little steps kind of help people you know chip in she's super woman she's a light at the end of so, so many dark tunnels you know it's, it's amazing the work that she does you have the calling when you see the need people that volunteer just go Go for it, whatever it might be. Story number two, Zachary Darner a few years ago made a goal to bring kids gifts while they are in hospitals from Tacoma to Bremerton. And he surpassed his goal each of those years. In year one, he was planning on trying to raise a thousand gifts. Guess what? This year, he raised almost 6,000 presents and he delivered them to area hospitals, including Harrison, this past Wednesday. My name is Zachary Darner and I'm nine years old. Three years ago, I had a goal of giving 50 new toys to children at Harrison Hospital and Mary Bridge Children's Hospital at Christmas time. We raised 259 toys. I got to deliver the toys to the hospitals. This year, I want to raise 5,000 toys to give them children at Harrison Hospital, Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, and Seattle Children's Hospital. My little brother Noah was in the hospital three times in the emergency room. And it was really scary, and I just decided, I, I've seen other kids in the hospital too, and I don't want them to feel like this. So I decided what makes kids feel good, toys. I think, considering his age, it's a beautiful message that he's sending. It's an inspiration to everyone. You are all awesome, and I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you. How many do you have? 5,890 toys. I read something in the paper about that one, too. <laughs> Story number three, Karen Vargas was shaped by her experiences growing up in Connecticut. She's an advocate for youth. Mentors helped to get Vargas, an army veteran, where she is today, and now she is returning the favor. For the past 25 years or so, she's donated her time in area schools, at community centers, and all over the Kitsap Peninsula to make sure that kids can achieve their best selves. Our young people are asking us for help. And um, so many times, we don't give it to them. If I see a young person that is crying out for support, I, I try to give them all the support I can. I was about eight, eight or nine years old. My um, family moved here. Um, they're in the military, and they started attending Emmanuel Apostolic Church. Met Karen Vargas, um, became friends with her, and then over time, um, she just kind of took me under her wing. I was in her Sunday school classes. I've never seen anyone be as driven as she is when it comes to making sure that youth of all social backgrounds and all economic backgrounds getting a step up or, or ahead. When you try to measure success, to me, it is about that young person's transformation you see the change in their own lives. And then you hear them say, my life is changed. Story number four, Gloria Bass, 
of Awala Elementary School had a big dream this year. She wanted to give art supplies to area kids who are in our local hospitals. On the bus ride home, I thought maybe I could do a fundraiser of my own, so then this started up. These are some of the markers. This is a giant crayon set. This is a glittery crayon set. I love glittery crayon sets. Sometime soon we're gonna take it and we're gonna bring it down to Mary Bridge Hospital. I read about that in the paper too. I think that's a good cause, a wonderful cause. And finally, story number five this week. Elaine Terso's long been known as a very talented photographer here in Kitsap County. She also does a lot of charitable efforts around the lens. This year, she embarked on Project Beauty Beast, which helped to bring together kids of all walks of life and unite them, help build them up, and also confront the challenges of bullying. We started in February. Um, and I interviewed a total of 24 teenagers from Kitsap County and we talked about bullying, body shame, self-harm, and even suicide. I wanted them to know that someone is always listening, that they are never really truly alone if they're willing to just take that next step and ask for help. Kind of we've opened up some wounds for them, but it started a healing process. So I really saw friendships being made and confidence is being built. And so it was really just incredible to watch these kids kind of grow before my eyes and watch them just become a stronger, more confident person. She has a great vibe around her. And it's, it's hard, for me, it's hard to like feel totally sad around her. I think it was a lot bigger than any of us thought it would be. It brought like the whole, there's so many people at the main event. Such tragedies happen with bullying. We need all the help that we can get. And finally, What's on Tap for your weekend, sponsored by Silver City Brewery Tap Room. On January 1st, a lot of people in Kitsap County will be taking the plunge. Polar plunges are occurring all across the peninsula. In fact, I'm even going to do one this year, Myra. And it's at noon on January 1st at the Brownsville Marina. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Maybe in my younger years it would be fine, but not now. But I admire you for doing it. Well, thank you, Myra. It's been a pleasure to have you on the Bremerton Beat Blast. That's our show for this week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to our sponsors and all of you who subscribe to the Kitsap Sun. We could not do this without you. Have a happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll see you in 2019.